What's up, YouTube? It's a breaking say something. I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you watch the full video. Let's get right to it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. It has been announced that Kiki Palmer and her child's father, Darius Jackson, have broken up. Now, this does come as a surprise to me because I honestly thought they would still be together, even though they... I didn't because it was like, after the concert... Everybody praised her for what she did, for what she was wearing. Everybody done talked to him. Oh, you broke, you this, you need to mind your business. You should sit down and be appreciated. Like, <laughs> it's completely down talking him. But mind you, he did cause it on, on, on himself because you brought it to the internet. If you had a problem with what she was wearing, what she was doing, you should have said that to her. Especially when she sat, she's the one with more status than you. Therefore, you should have kept this off the internet. You brought, your, you brought the situation to the internet. And you, the internet is going to always have an opinion. You never know whose side it's going to take, bro. You never know. So, in that situation, and then it was like her statement that she released, she was based on some, I'm going to do me type of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to do me. I'm going to do Bob. Like, like it wasn't like, like her statement didn't give off, like, I apologize type of stuff. It didn't give that. So, therefore, what do you expect a man to do at the end of the day? Y'all yeah, said insecure, but... <laughs> Really think about it. A lot of men don't want their girlfriend, baby mama, fiance, whatever, out looking like that. She would, come on, bro. Like in today's society, when it comes to fashion, y'all are almost walking outside half. I can't even say the word because this is YouTube, but I think nude would probably be the the, prop, the proper word. So y'all walking out half nude, and it's like y'all y'all really expect a man to really want his girl to walk out like that. Now, mind you, if he if he got you and you already dressed like that, take his own, bro. You gotta take it. You gotta take, you you already liked her in it, so therefore you can't. It's hard to try to change it now. But if you didn't catch her in that, you didn't you didn't see her in that. Like, oh, I want you. Then come on, bro. Who wants that girlfriend? Walk? I don't want my girlfriend walking out with her cheeks out. Like, come on, bro. Did have some relationship issues. I thought that they probably worked it out quietly. But I was wrong. See, this is what I get for assuming things. I don't know. I was wrong. Now, in my previous video, I did talk about Kiki collaborating with Usher for his new video for his song, Boyfriend. She actually starred in the video. And honestly, I thought the video was cute. I thought the song was catchy. It wasn't Usher's And then, and then now I forgot, I forgot she even did that. That was like the ultimate slap in the face. In my opinion, that was the old, like, come on. It's like, all right, you went to the concert. You had this big viral moment. Big viral moment. You release your statement, like I said, she gave off. And the statement, like, I'm going to do me no matter what type of vibe. And then you go do a, a video with him. Come on. It's like, it's like, think about it. If you were, you know, if you have a significant other, you're in a relationship, you have to, you question your significant other about somebody. They tell you, oh, don't worry about this person. And then, next thing you know, they're out with them again. What, like, what's going on? Like, come on, man. That song, I would say, but <laughs> it's definitely the type of song that will be stuck in your mind if you listen to it a few more times. So, it was just a little catchy little bop. And I know people are going to talk about it, joke about it, make think pieces about it. But overall, I thought Kiki and Usher came together because they wanted to capitalize off of the moment that blew up over the summer. And that was they the did. moment when Kiki's boyfriend called Kiki out after she got serenaded by Usher at his concert. Kiki's boyfriend, Darius, was very upset. He said, it's the outfit, though. You a mom. And then he followed up the tweet. Exactly. Like, he wasn't even, chip, he wasn't even mad about you. Like, you know, you having that little dance moment, whatever. That's cool. You, you know, hey, who... More than likely, everybody grew up off of Usher. Hey, so therefore, it's Usher at the end of the day. You feel me? And then, it's like, this is on a stage in front of everybody. It, it, it wasn't like he was kissing or something. But it was like, bro, the outfit. <laughs> the outfit, though. You are on stage. You are famous with your whole cheeks out, bro. That's the thing that y'all failing to realize. Her cheeks was out. He wasn't even tripping about the thing with Usher. The hook, grab him. Oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was the outfit. 
by saying, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks and please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Now, Darius and Kiki were not married, just for the record. So Even what? though they have a child together, Kiki is still technically single. So he was acting like she was his wife when she wasn't. And so what he said in that tweet was a little weird. And also, it was weird that he even put this situation on blast. I think he... He was wrong putting it on blast, but thinking of your girlfriend as your wife, that ain't that, ain't that what the goal is? If we're dating, if we're having kids, the end goal is for you to be my wife. So why not treat you as my wife now? So therefore, we get to the, to the wife mode. It's already, it's normal. This is what we do. This is not nothing new. Like, I've been treating you as my wife. You've been acting like a wife. Therefore, what's the problem? I don't be getting It's just crazy. <laughs> like, if I, like, that's not, if you ain't got a ring, that, that, that means you're still single. What? No. If we're in a relationship, it's the difference between dating and relationship. If we're in a relationship, no. You're not single. You are not just go, go mingle with other men, go add new male friends to your friend list, none of that. No giving out your number, none of that. Club in at 2 at two a.m., you should be on your way home at 1.40. <laughs> That's not even controlled, but think about when they come to the club. The club's over at 2 a.m. Well, most clubs are over at 2 a.m. After that, what are you looking for? You looking for something to eat or something to be? And you know what I'm talking about. You've grown enough. You know what I'm talking about. Therefore, if your thing's at home, you need to be on your way home definitely could have aired out his frustrations behind the scenes instead of embarrassing kiki like he did yeah but no he took it to social media and of course everybody had something to say because when you make things public you're gonna allow everybody in your business Thanks. so since this happened darius did get eat up alive on social media and the situation was embarrassing for kiki because obviously kiki would have never expected or ever wanted her relationship issues to make it to the public eye i think even though kiki comes off as goofy and funny and bubbly a lot of times she still is serious when it comes to protecting her relationships and having some privacy so when this situation blew up it just kind of put her in a weird spot and the only thing she could really do about it was just try to capitalize off of the moment and kind of laugh about it basically and she did that. So when her man called her out, she made a series of posts addressing the situation in a humorous way. And she also started selling merch saying, I'm a mother. <laughs> and obviously she was trolling Darius for making that condescending tweet about her being a mother. And in the video she did with Usher, she also said it again. Shit, I'm so tired. I'm a mother. <laughs> so kiki was trying her best to play off the situation and was it petty yes oh. was the video she did with usher that petty, petty yeah hell, it was bro. petty but at the same time i get it i understand that both usher and kiki Dude, that's embarrassing bro that is embarrassing i got on your head because you did something i didn't like and then you go do you go make it more embarrassing especially like the little smirk like like boy, like him saying you're a mom. Look, when a when a when a person has a kid, in my opinion, that does not mean that your life is over. You have to go put yourself into a shell. You have to be completely bumming and give your kid everything. Make sure that, make sure make sure they have the world. But you get what I'm going with that. That does not mean your life is over. Your life is not over. Yes, it might be a little struggle, but that does not mean your life is over. You are still young. You are still beautiful. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. So, therefore, I'm talking to you. You just had a kid. You are beautiful. You just get your energy, your energy back up and go have fun. But be respectful of yourself. If you're a single, hey, you want to wear the outfit? Go out and do your thing. If you are not, respect your relationship because, hey, unless you have a dude that just don't care what you wear, then, hey, you have that dude. But if you have a man that does not like that, don't wear it. Like it's it's about respect. People fail to realize when it comes. That's why a lot of relationships always fail because people fail to realize a relationship is like a job. It has rules. It's do's and don'ts. That's part of the relationship. It's either that's why it's either you're going to be single or you're going to be in a relationship. Relationship has rules. Do's, don'ts, 
you got to tap in. You can't just go somewhere and don't tap in. If you go somewhere, hey, I'm finna go here. I'm finna go do. I'm finna go do this. This person's coming. That person's not coming. Like, let this person know. Cause at the job, what you got to do? Hey, I ain't showing up. Hey, I'm coming in. Hey, I'm late. I'm on time. You got to do it. You know, it's rules, regulations. The same thing goes with a relationship. People fail to realize that it might sound crazy, it might sound harsh, but that is a real reality. A relationship has rules. Remember that. Our business people, and they wanted to take advantage of the moment and make it into something more lighthearted. So honestly, I wasn't mad at them for doing this video because I actually was entertained by it. Usher is now looked at as a menace and he's now being blamed for breaking up households everywhere. And instead of being upset by it, he's playing into it because he probably thinks it's hilarious. And also Kiki and her boyfriend went through relationship issues. And instead of crying about it online, she's kind of joking about it too. So it's just care. a way for them to deflect from the serious. So I don't know someone's parts, but hey, this is the reaction that's what we're here for. Look at, uh, Look at, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Uh, the girl, she's dating a basketball player. When Usher was coming, what she do? She got on her man lap. It's my respect. You're not going to come over here doing all this type of stuff with me, singing in my face, and my man right here, even if he wasn't there. No, you're not going to do that because that is disrespectful. But that lets you know how much, sorry to say, how much respect he had for her man. If you doing this and you don't care, and it don't matter then. Especially if you're thinking, like, oh, it takes a ring to, to mean that you're not single. Y'all got to stop thinking that, for real. business of the situation while still monetizing off the moment. Now, I did not expect Kiki and Darius to actually break up over this, but I should have seen it coming. Based off how she he responded care. to her being serenaded by Usher, something told me, okay, he's dealing with a lot of insecurities here. He doesn't like the fact that Kiki is getting... A certain amount of attention so i guess i should have saw it coming but i didn't <laughs> want it to happen you know what i mean because it's the, it's i understand end. that he didn't make the best decision by yeah. calling kiki out on a public platform but at the same time he and kiki still have a young baby together they just became parents so i wouldn't have wished for their family to break up and i wouldn't have wanted them to allow people on social media to influence them to break up either because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what we say or what we think if they have an understanding and if they are able to hash out their issues behind the scenes they don't need to break up but obviously this situation was something that could not be resolved i thought kiki and darius worked things out privately because it was reported by ace showbiz that they were spotted together not too long ago while partying with the influencer Aaliyah J. So I made the assumption that things were okay between them. See, this is why I can't assume things because sometimes I get it wrong. But now that this whole video has come out between Kiki and Usher, it's interesting that Darius is now coming forward to people.com confirming that he and Kiki split up. He told people that he has moved on and he's focusing on his acting career and he wants to put the drama behind him. And he also said in terms of co-parenting, he said they're trying to make things work and he said you don't have to be in the same household to be good parents. So I guess it's That's over right. between Kiki that. and Darius. And it's a little unfortunate because I didn't want their family to break up over something so trivial. But I do think Darius's insecurities got the best of him. And I'm not saying that he didn't have a right to feel a way that Kiki was being serenaded by Usher. While is it really insecure? Like, insecure, look, insecurity is, is something like, all right, if you're questioning your your significant other when, like about cheating, like, you're, like you think that this person is so cute or whatever that they're cheating with everybody. You're being insecure about their, about how they, how good they look, and that probably you think that you don't look that good to hold on to this person. But he said the outfit, the outfit. I don't want my girl out with her cheeks out. That is not an insecurity, bro. You should want that. <laughs> Nobody should want that. If that have been, if that have been uh, Lizzo. Everybody would have swept her down. She was going to put something on. But because it's somebody who has a nice shape. Not saying that she doesn't. But y'all get where I'm going. Oh, it's cool. 
It's cool. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's okay. No, ladies. Half, <laughs> even though dressing like how dressing like however doesn't mean that you don't have no respect about yourself, but it's like it does play a part into that role. It's like if you're walking outside with these with in the nude, how do you expect a person not to walk up to you on some? Let me go take you down. Let me take you to Pound Town. Well, this is how you outside dressing, mind you. This is a double standard world, you, and it shouldn't be. You should be able to dress how you want to dress, but sadly, this is not that world. If you want you want some respect about yourself, dress accordingly. Even though some men are still dogs, they still not gonna respect you. <laughs> you can have one of a, a, a brown paper bag. They still say something crazy to you. So that <laughs> sometimes it ain't the outfit. Sometimes it's just the person's mindset. But in this situation, I don't consider him. He shouldn't do it on the internet, but I don't consider him feeling some type of way about what she's wearing as an insecurity. I don't see that. Wearing an enticing outfit. He's allowed to feel what he feels, but I think he was more so speaking out of insecurity more than anything. I think he was insecure at the attention that Kiki was getting. He also probably was insecure about the fact that Kiki was the breadwinner and oh. the only thing he really had to stand on was him just being the man of the house but that angle was not gonna work because he if that's the case if that's the case he wouldn't have said nothing a man who you you got a girl you have no money she has all the money he's finna sit back he going he's not finna take a chance on losing the money at least a smart man wouldn't not what people would consider to be a traditional man He's not a husband. He's a baby daddy. He's not a provider. He was just kind of living with Kiki. He's not exactly a protector per se because he didn't oh protect God, her from public bro. scrutiny. So he wasn't really oh. stepping into that role of a traditional man. And therefore, he wasn't really getting the respect that he probably desired. But that's honestly oh, that's because crazy, he wasn't stepping man. up to the plate. And so this is probably what made him insecure. And he put those insecurities out on Front Street. See, fellas, this is why we could not be dating for looks. You see how women care of themselves? They're looking for X amount of things. For men, we only look for you to be cute and for you to be loyal. That's it. Be cute and be loyal. That's it. <laughs> Shit, be cute and be loyal to me. That's it. But y'all be wanting all these X amount of things, even though a man should be, you know, X amount of things. But it'd be crazy that guy really just, well, she right here really just like, this man is nothing. <laughs> you want a provider. You're not a husband. You're a baby daddy. You're not a protector. You're insecure. That's really how they be looking at a lot of men, bruh. That'd be crazy. That's crazy. And he embarrassed Kiki in the process, and it led to them breaking up in this messy messy way and i wish it didn't have to happen like this but <sighs> unfortunately that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes i just hope this doesn't She's turn into a messy oh, child no, custody okay. battle because hey, that's Kiki. always very stressful so i'm really hoping it doesn't take that turn where he's trying to get child support checks i mean that would just be yeah. really disheartening I do think moving forward, this should be a learning lesson for Kiki Palmer to not just settle down with anybody she thinks is cute enough. She has to really vet some right. of these guys and determine if they have the qualities that she needs in a partner. She also has to know if they're secure enough to handle her level of fame and success. I think That's it's more true. ideal for her to be with somebody who's economically on her level or at least has the mentality to build something of their own because those type of men will be less likely to be insecure about her success. I remember she had a conversation with Steve Harvey years ago. Steve was trying to give her some game and tell her, listen, you can't just be booed up with anybody who doesn't have something going on for themselves. You have to find somebody who is established. Don't be mad, Steve. Fellas, hey, she ain't got no bag coming in? No. You see what they doing, right? Ain't got to be the same way. I don't care, bro. Ain't got to be. Look, the reason why I feel like a woman should be having a bag coming in, it's it's not even, it's, it's to look out for her, too. What if? What if? What if the man falls off? What if he has all the money, you have nothing, and he leave you, what are you, you going to have? You want to go to court? You want to sue? You want to do all, like, no, if you come in with your own bag, you're not even looking for none of that because you have your own money. 
come with something, fellas. To the, going into 24, if she does not have a bag, forget her. Push her to the side. Because that's what they doing. For real. Who I try to tell you to get with, you don't want to hear me. Now, all of a sudden, he ain't pretty enough. Now, you can find a nice guy, but he has to have a plan. He don't have to have a million yet, but he has to have a plan to get somewhere close to that. Because you True. make a lot of money. What you cannot do is be taking care of nobody else. So True. what you can't, you can't give nobody your lifestyle. Yeah. He got to come in here with a lifestyle that you can put it together with. Now, this was some good advice that Steve gave her, and I think he knows that men can get really, really insecure when their finances are not in order. And I honestly True. think this is one of the you big can't, reasons you can't why get Keith's ex, Darius, was insecure in their relationship. So looking back, I think it would be a good idea for Kiki to reconsider what Steve said, and I do wish Kiki all the best moving forward. And Damn, Kiki's so fine. But she's crazy. Hey, fellas. Fellas, if, if any man is watching, watching this video, pay attention. Pay attention. Stop just looking for looks and just some, a little bit of loyalty. And she ain't got nothing going. No. Like Steve just told Kiki, do not be introducing these females into the lifestyle that you have. And she ain't trying to push you to get more and bring herself to get more and take herself to No. No. <laughs> That's our moving, bro. No, if we're not on the same path, you if you ain't helping each other. It ain't gonna work. Cause I'm not taking care of nobody just for you to sit back on your on your cheeks and then if some crumble. Oh, my man, he 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 fell off. He ain't got nothing. So I'm finna go on to the next man that got a bag. And I guarantee a female will say that is insecure. You you're being insecure about that. No, that's being real talk. Life is crazy. Life has ups and downs. Friends are are not cheap. Life like traveling is not cheap. Kids are not cheap. Tuition is not cheap. Life is not cheap. So therefore, why should I be the only one with the bag while you sitting back on your cheeks? No. And then like even when it comes to, to birthday gifts and, and Christmas gifts and, and gifts in general, if I have the money and you have nothing, when you give me a gift. I pay for that. You didn't get me nothing. <laughs> Get to the next one, man.